to be honest with you now because, um, well, it may seem strange, but they are always the the sad, the Bigfoot are always around me. As soon as I walk in, into this area, it's it's my it's my job, man. It is it's you know I was granted this opportunity to uh, to be able to uh, uh, photograph and record these creatures. If I were Inspector Gadget, I would be rich right now. I, <laughs> I'm not kidding. I would be. I would be on the the late shows, man. I am not kidding you. And you know these, uh, like that mountain giant. You know, I, I'm serious. Every bit of serious, man. A a foot the size of a Dodge Stratus. You know, think about. You know, and you know that's what it was when I when we first felt that and. and and we didn't understand it, you know. Like I said, it was something as big as a, every bit as big as an elephant, but an elephant doesn't even compare to this, not even close. And uh, these are, these are, the mountain giants are uh, in a league of their own, man. And they are, you know, they're as tall as the trees. And, and they're not of this dimension, but... But they can come into this dimension. There's a lot. Now, to back up what you're saying here, and uh, directly behind my, my area that I research, and I use the word research loosely, uh, I, only because I am so familiar with my surroundings there now. I just travel over the same ground. But right behind there, uh, from uh, what was it? From 1997 to 2012, over uh, well, I want to say 212 people. I think uh, that number may be off a little bit. Uh, have vanished from this from an area right behind me in the three sisters wilderness of Oregon. Yeah. And, uh, wonder where they've gone. And this is well documented and, and, uh, you know, you can Google it. Um, uh, a friend, uh, uh, Toby Johnson, he, uh, you know, he's, uh, he's done a lot of work on that, that part of the Bigfoot world. And, and he has a lot of insight in that. But the last person was evidently a U of U or U of O professor. They found his belongings a few hundred yards from his uh, his vehicle on a trail, but no sign of him, no sign of struggle, no sign of nothing, just gone, and never to be heard from again. Well, that's and, why I'm saying you got to be careful when you go out there, because I mean, you know, in the park system. You know, up to about four years ago, there's like over 14,000 plus people have gone into the, the forest system in our country and never came back out. Yep. Yep. It's taken me a lot of, uh, it's, I'm not kidding, a lot, I, I'm just barely getting over it after, you know, you got to understand what this does to your brain when you start seeing all this stuff and you're like, what in the heck, you know, things, you know, like I said, you know, uh, when we started this, it was a, uh, you know, I, I witnessed the Bob Gim uh, Patterson Gimlin footage for the first time. And that's what Bigfoot was to me, you know, and, and the, the Bigfoot now is, uh, uh, a uh, a term uh, that fits several different sizes. Believe me, uh, very you know there are, there are very big foots in this world that we do not understand, and the smallest of them are the big foots, the Sasquatch, and. 
you know, as we uh, uh, go on uh, a little further here, I'm hoping we're going to take a break or something here in a minute. But but uh, uh, as we go on further here, you know, I, I'll be you know all all of this is for a reason. I, I didn't know what the reason was. It's it's came to me uh, within the last year, pretty much, of understanding all this and and uh and i've uh experienced uh mind speak and and things like that and and uh and i'm like why is this happening to me and you know and and they've made it known to me that uh my my uh my miss you know my uh, mission here is to like i said uh bring observation of life forms that we do, cannot prove it this time, but bring awareness to them for the conservation of Mother Earth, and and uh, that is like uh, the reason for these huge uh, uh, limb uh, tree structures. Uh, um, you know, we're uh, some of these strange animals like. I saw a photo not long ago with, uh, you know, a wolf strung up high above on a branch in a tree. And, uh, and, and there's some things going on that they are sending us signals to, uh, to bring observation to this and, and to, uh, because we need to start taking care of our planet a little better, man, or we're not going to have one. You can say that again. I'm going to take about a two-minute break, and we'll be back in two minutes, and I'm going to put you on hold during the break. All right. Thank you. Okay. It makes you wonder what's all out in the woods. Hey, make sure you tell your friends about Night Dreams Talk Radio. You can find us at www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. That's www.nightdreamstalkradio.com. Dot com. When you go onto our website, there's a donation button. If you do not want to hear advertising on our show, uh, at least for the near future, you know, hey, donate a buck or two into our donation button on our, uh, well, on our website. Uh, that will be doing, well, that will be a change coming here shortly because we're in the process of picking up a few radio stations. We're working on that right now. So when that happens there, we, there will be advertising, but we're going to kind of limit it to, well, like on top of each hour for at least three minutes of advertising at that point. So it's not going to be all cluttered up like a lot of shows are with advertising. But till then, you know, we can keep it advertising free and we, we, you don't have to listen to any advertising just by donating a buck or two in the donation button on www Night Dream Stock Radio. We'll be back in about a minute and a half.
Do you have a paranormal story that you want heard? You could be a guest on Night Dreams. Contact us at Motorcycle Talk by Gary at gmail.com. And we are back with Dale. We're talking about Bigfoot out in the, uh, well, out in the forest, out in the woods, deep in the forest and deep in the woods, I should just say. Well, it, would you, would you, if you were out there, would you carry some type of weapon yourself? Anyway, Dale, are you there? I am. Yep. Okay. I'll yep. let you get back to your, what you're saying. All right. Awesome. You know, so I was talking you know, a little bit about tree structures and, and you know, uh, limb uh, structures, uh, glyphs made with twigs and stuff. You know, these things are all done by not just Sasquatch, but there are other uh, uh, inquisitive creatures out there that, that have, you know, uh, hands and uh, much like ours that can can grab things they're not monkeys and and they i i don't know what they're called but they make glyphs there's um all these things uh are being brought to light to uh to bring an awareness to something we do not completely understand um like in my area okay there's like well have you seen like the bigfoot show Shows on TV like the one uh, Monsters and Mysteries in Alaska, where they show those uh, those huge inverted trees stuck in the ground. Um, uh, you could Google it if if you haven't seen them, but not that particular one. You know what I find a lot of these ones where they went out looking for the Bigfoot is that I hate to say it, now I'm going to get people mad at me, but if you go out there with a movie crew, right? And you got like four or five people, you know, taking all this equipment with you, plus yourself and maybe a couple other people. So now you got around 13 people in a group looking for a Bigfoot. It's going to make it really hard because, like, you know, again, I'm going back in my case. We were out in the middle of nowhere where, you know, I doubt many people even travel that time of year, even, you know, backpacking or anything where we're at. And I think the thing was this is shocked to see us as uh, we were to see it. And, you know, it was just a, a chance encounter. But I think a lot of these people go out looking at the same place all the time. I, I just don't think they're going to find a Bigfoot. I, I really don't. Well, I'll tell you, uh, they're, they're a lot more than what you may think. Uh, and And a lot of the... Uh, a lot of the more gentle ones, I kind of get the the feeling that the more gentle ones are, are are closer to the edges of of human civilization, and and then like I was saying about the Three Sisters area of Oregon here, you're getting back into the you know into the deep 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 woods, and you know there are uh, mysterious lights. Uh, UFOs uh, by the score that get that are seen in this area, you know. Every time I go out there, there is a light that shows up around me. It shows up around me in town the other day, it, or not a few months ago. Uh, I was uh, going uh, to the store, the convenience store, the 76. And I, uh, all of a sudden, I see this light that is always around me. I, I, I have no other way to explain it. But it, it comes down out of the clouds and, and gets right, to, right above the 70s. 